Now it's our time to choose our desktop. So we can choose any of the desktops that are available on Arch Linux. On Arch Linux D, we've already eight of them and we've just added Deeping to it. So that's nine. So this tutorial is about XFCE. So we type sudo pacman minus sxfc4. Uh, be sure that your numeric lock is on like so and then xfce4 dash goodies at this point in time we have an issue i'm gonna show you what the issue is and we'll solve it together so light dm we have to check here it is the error downloading required keys there is a key that's not okay we solve it by sudo pacman minus arch linux keyring and then we see that there are keys appended and keys disabled and we do it again we install xfc4 and goodies again and we'll have no issues this time so that's xfce for you i was just about to say uh, we should check if we did not forget sudo system ctl enabled i do tend to forget this light dm dot search so if you do not do this then you won't get this pop-up from login and password and it will not work but it's already there but um, that's okay so we need to sudo reboot and then we have um, our grub and then light dm should kick in and afterwards we should go into xfce At this point in time we've just installed one thing one desktop and login you're welcome to the first start of the panel you can this use this one or that one i think the easiest one for you at this point in time is use default config then we get this plank like dock here and we get a panel up here so now it's up to you to discover what xfc is like so if you're used to Arco Linux and you see um, th this, then there's a lot of difference in here. Now, I must also point out that Control F, that we put our virtual box into scale factor 150. That's interesting for our terminal, but at this point in time, we'll need to set it back to 100%, which is going to be crisp clear again. So that's that. Now he thinks he has a very small uh, window there are two things you can do you can go to settings display and set it there but I guess there's also a very easy way you log out and log back in and there you go you have the same um, resolution that you should have so display he knows now I am at that resolution so there you go now it's up to you to tweak this system change all the settings or you can spice it up with the Arco Linux uh, repo and so on. It's all up to you where you go from here.